Hey folks, Wayne Taylor, Honest Home Finder, out at Crestwinds Wesley Chapel with Coulter Homes. Head inside so we uh, can hear myself think. What an absolutely beautiful day. I was just talking to the outside about how much I love it when there's a nice sun out and there's a cool breeze. But it's just a little bit in the back of my head is that dread of uh, the heat is coming, the heat is coming. Hmm. You're going to be able to tell I'm a big fan of Coulter Homes. I'll tell you one of the reasons is outside of me having the SRES designation and working with seniors is YouTube videos. Taking videos of ranch plans is difficult. But when you have a builder, and there are a few in our market, that focus on them, it's just so much easier. You can just absolutely tell the effort that gets put into these homes, the design, it's just not a box that uh, somebody who doesn't want stairs. This is somebody who still wants all the little things, all the uniqueness that comes with the home they might be downsizing from and are possibly not happy about it, but will get happy when they come into a cult or home neighborhood. There's a couple more, like I said, and they can get very special <clears throat> uh, floor plans and uh, guss them up. Gussy them up, gussy them up, as much as they want. This is the grace. And I just got the, the tour and thanks again. That's another thing that I think clients of Coulter Homes notice. At least the feedback that I've gotten from my people. These folks really, really care. This isn't, we're living in a time where there are people standing in line to buy and there are waiting lists and highest and best and this, that, and the other. So when you come in and speak with uh, the on-site agents, and I believe this comes from the top down, they're just very gracious and are happy to educate you on their builder and their community. Anyway, what I'm standing in right now is an addition, which is just killer. Look at this. You know I gush about the natural light, my God. Move me in, look at those windows. I'm guessing they just call this a sunroom. This is by no means a breakfast nook. This is just fantastic. Opens up the whole floor plan. But again, this is an addition. I definitely think that, uh, depending on price, I'm a frugal guy. That everybody should take a look at that as an option. Coffered ceilings when they're models too. I'm going to talk about that while I'm wandering around the Grace. Crestland Wesley Chapel um, is going to be a uh, another restricted neighborhood, age-wise, just like Crestland Charlotte. It's not completely done yet. They're looking 23, more than likely 24, 2023, 2024 for the amenity center. Look at this master. Um, and a lot of the amenities. I wish I had the number. I left my notebook in the sink. Maybe something like 10 to 15 pickleball courts. You know, they're gonna be having tournaments here. But just the same thing that you expect from any cult or community. Um, this is gonna be restricted. This is uh, gonna have amenities galore. They're just gonna take a while coming. They've just started, they've already sold a bunch. They've got a lot of inventory available, at least once they've started. Obviously this one right here is considered inventory. It's damn near done. There's some finishing touches, sure, but. And they've got the whole gambit. Um, I think it's a number of different designs, different sizes, obviously different price tags gonna go along with that. That's 10 different designs, uh, two series, the Carson and the Hepburn. The Hepburn is gonna be a little bit bigger, a little bit more expensive, but the yard width is bigger. Yeah, that number just flew out of my head, how much wider it's gonna be much elbow room you've got to your neighbors. And you'll just have to decide for yourself if it's worth it. It's the, the, the neighborhood is divided up. You're gonna have a Carson section and a Hepburn section. I 
kind of like how they give you a number of different options. If down the road you were to do a build, what you can pick out. Uh, depending on the size, sorry I have to keep pausing my video. I can go through pollen an inch deep on my car when it's all gone, then my nose starts to get itchy and runny. I have no idea what's wrong with me. It's your full bath downstairs. Gonna go along to the secondary bedroom we have downstairs. And maybe one of the reasons that they can make true um, empty nest homes, downsizing homes, is you don't need all the bedrooms. This one's a two bedroom plan, a uh, two bedroom iteration of a plan. You can go three to five, depending on how much space you want. Oh my goodness. Having flashbacks of the day that I went starting 16 years ago and wanted to open up one a closet like this and just kept turning the handle and turning the handle. <laughs> I was gonna need some blue tape in the jump. Oh, that's because it was supposed to go in there first. I'll fix that in a minute. All right, let's head upstairs and take a look at that bonus room. What do you, oh, we'll hit the garage first. Well, to me, a garage is a garage, but I understand that folks are gonna be purchasing these. Mm, might be a little tight. Down around the corner is gonna be your water heater. Yeah. Get you tankless. You deserve it. You've made it this far in life. All right, let's head upstairs, guys. All right, made it up, made it up. Top of the screen is my buyer's incentive. Hopefully. This will be the one you can get a room, you can get it unfinished, I'm guessing. Get it with a closet or get it with a bathroom. So this is gonna be the absolute guest suite versus you know the full-on apartment upstairs. Sitting room, you know, a little place to chill and a bedroom. So that'll do it for the grace guys. Thanks for watching.